Alright, this is Lisa Daniel. I'm here to talk to you about how to hold a leash. I know many of you think you know how to hold a leash or you think that there's nothing special about how you should hold a leash, but you are wrong. I see people coming into my class all the time holding their leash either in an inefficient way, which usually looks something like this, in which case a little pulling and it comes right through your hand or worse, in a dangerous way, like this, or even more dangerous, like this, okay, guaranteeing that you cannot let go of your dog. The issue with something like this, or even loop around the wrist simply, is you cannot get free of it in time if your dog decides to drag you in front of a truck. Um, or in the kind of icy conditions we've been having in Washington lately, there are also times where if your dog gets moving too fast, you may be better off dropping the leash than falling on your back on the ice, okay? Small breed dogs may not be such an issue, but keep in mind that a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, when trained to do so and built up gradually, can pull 500 pounds, okay? You need to be able to drop the leash. Your dog may very well clear the truck, but you won't, and neither of you will if you are tethered to them. Okay, how to hold the leash so that you have a great deal of leverage and can control the dog, but you can also drop it in a heartbeat. It's all about the thumb, folks, okay? If you are right-handed, great. I like to teach leash in the right hand, dog on the left with the leash crossing the body, which will give you extra leverage in certain circumstances. If you are left-handed and really hate having it on the right, go ahead and hold it on your left. Just do the opposite of what I'm doing, or do it with the other hand. Okay, right hand, thumb. First loop goes over the thumb. Second loop, and notice that I'm not grabbing it here, I'm grabbing it about a foot or more down the leash. Second loop comes inside to the palm and again over the thumb. You then close your hand ideally on the entire thing, okay? If it's a very thick leash, you only have to make sure your hand is covering or gripping the part of the leash that is attached to the dog, okay? This part. This part over here can hang out, okay? But if you have a properly sized leash, hopefully you can simply hold the whole thing. Note that my thumb is relaxed on the top of my hand. It's not, the loops are not up here, okay? My thumb is not up like this, which is going to make your thumb hurt. It is simply relaxed on top of my fist. Then you check that the leash is coming out your pinky at the bottom of your hand. And then I want you to feel how much of a grip you have. You have a very solid grip like that, okay? On the other hand, if you fail to do that last bit and close your hand here while this is coming out by your thumb, watch this, woo, <laughs> okay? It's not a good grip. So thumb, extra loop. Your dog does not need, so don't make your extra loop like this. <laughs> your dog does not need all this leash. They are simply gonna wind around you, wind around the tree. The less leash your dog has, the more control you right. have. We've got this leash. We've got a good loop on it because we want the dog to have enough leash so that there's no tension on it when they are where they're supposed to be, which is next to you. Okay, we do not want them to have a leash that looks like this. Okay? All right, now, the other thing to notice is you've got your leash here. You've got your good grip, and if there is a crisis, you can do this. Drop the leash, okay? Especially if you have children, teach them how to hold the leash and teach them how to drop it. It could save their lives. Thank you.